Hey what's guys, it's Good Willie Home, welcome back to another video. Now today, today is going to be a bit of a different video, I'm just going to be standing up. Yes, I do have legs. Look at these legs. Look at them. Okay, right. I've done my hair. I think I might need to shave to be honest. I'm getting a bit fucking shit now. One sec. Stop right there, criminals. Listen to this. Okay, I'm gonna see what I can try and fucking do. Okay, so, how about a shave? Oh, damn! Oh. Okay, so now we've finally done that, let's jump straight into the video. Uh, hold on, I forgot my little monobrow. Fuck! Okay. Okay, now we can start the video. <laughs> yeah, Nerf actually released a Halo Infinite Nerf gun assault rifle. Which, I mean, is pretty cool because I would have loved to have had something like that as a kid. And so you also get a code for it to unlock, you know, the Nerf gun as a weapon skin in Halo Infinite when it comes out. Which will be fucking when exactly? Infinite waiting. <laughs> But either way, I saw this Nerf gun and I thought to myself, you know what, I really wonder if 343 do ever put gold weapon skins into Halo Infinite, which I'm pretty sure they're probably going to do because they've been putting it into Halo MCC, so I think that's kind of a bit of a hint towards the fact that, you know, they're probably going to be putting gold weapon skins in Halo Infinite as well. So I was kind of sitting down and thinking, you know what, I wonder what those gold weapon skins are going to be like. So long story short, I ended up buying one of those Halo Infinite Nerf guns and I decided to put a gold weapon skin on it. But anyway, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys this gun. So yeah, this is my gold assault rifle. Just look at that. Look at the reflection on it. Look at the shine. Oh! I'm sorry for all the sexual noises, but look at that. If you look at this here, you can literally see my reflection on the gun. That's... That's pretty fucking epic. Obviously, I'm going to be walking you through the steps on how I made this paint job. And then maybe, hopefully, you guys will be able to do it as well. Now, I am just going to mention before I get into this video, this paint job isn't perfect. You see here, there's actually a lot of residue from the tape that I've used. And it's not really the tape that did that. It was more the fact that I left the tape on for a while. Like, painting this gun just took me a while in general. So yeah, obviously, there's been some residue left by the tape. It's not a perfect paint job. Obviously, you can take the mag out and stuff like that. if it'll work. So obviously you can take the mag out and stuff like that. Obviously don't do it loads because it'll just take off the fucking paint. But anyway, yes, I'm gonna be leading you guys through the steps on how I made this assault rifle. Yeah, this is actually gonna be a new series on the channel and I'm pretty much gonna be making all of their new Halo Infinite weapons that we know of at the moment. And I'm going to be putting a gold weapon skin onto them. For any of you lore kids out there on the UNSC weapons, I'm going to be doing a gold weapon skin. But on the Covenant weapons, I'm going to be doing a zealot skin. <laughs> Before anybody starts rinsing me in the comments about lore, yeah, stay tuned because I'm going to be making more videos showing off these Halo Infinite weapons with the gold weapon skin on them. So yeah, I mean, step one, you need your nerf gun. Simple. Or if you somehow 3D printed the assault rifle or made it out of foam or whatever. It doesn't really matter, just have the assault rifle. So anyway, take it away, Morgan from the past. That was really cringe. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thanks UPS, just completely destroyed the box. Ignore my hair, I still haven't had a shower yet. Okay, let's get this bad boy open. Oh, the grand reveal. A uh, yeah boy. Just noticed as well, the box is already f open, like... <laughs> Come on! So anyway, with the power of magic... Yes, definitely magic. You're going to put that assault rifle onto this desk. Bang! And here it is. So before I put any plaster dip onto here, I'm gonna sand off this Nerf logo and this Halo logo. And I'm also going to be doing it on the other side as well, because once again, there's a Nerf logo here.
I unboxed the gun and I also sanded off the little logos that you'll have here. After all the parts are sanded down and everything, you're obviously going to want to blow the dust away, wipe it off with a wet cloth. Whatever you have to do, just make sure there isn't any dust lying around, otherwise it can really affect the paint job. And then when all that is done, you start applying the paint. So obviously before you paint anything, you're going to have to prime it first. I personally recommend plastered it this is what a lot of people use whenever you're using any kind of spray paint or primer always warm it up for you know a few minutes some people will just use a hot bowl of water i just personally just stuck it on the radiator for about five ten minutes this is it so it all just comes out in a nice smooth coat and it doesn't leave like you know little blobs of like liquid or anything like that it just comes out in a nice thin coat but anyway once you've got your plastered it then you spray it onto the gun I did about four layers on each side. So either way, it took me the entire day to paint this gun, not to mention that it is also winter time right now. So because it's very cold, that also adds on extra time for drying. But it does dry eventually and it will come out with a nice matte black color. Obviously after the plaster dip has dried, then you know, store it wherever you store it and leave it for about a day. Just so you really give the plaster dip time to dry. It's just better to be safe than sorry and just, you know, rush it and then it comes out terrible or the paint comes off and that's the last thing you want after the plaster dip has dried it will look a bit like this you know a nice matte black color this is actually the plaster dip i didn't have to paint this matte black or anything simply because it already comes out as matte black now moving on to how i sprayed the gold first you've got to mask the bits that you want to keep black so for example i went on to mcc and i took a look at the halo 3 assault rifle and how the gold weapon skin is like on there i took a look at what parts were gold and what parts were black to which i then just completely taped up these black parts that so no gold will get onto them only exposing the parts that we wanted to spray now as i said at the beginning of the video this isn't a perfect paint job i did make mistakes and I made a fair few mistakes when actually painting the gold. First tip I'm gonna give you is if you are gonna mask your gun up, mask it and then paint it. Don't mask it and then leave it for a couple of days and then paint it. Because otherwise if you leave the tape on for a long time, even if you're using a low adhesive tape, pretty much just like tape like this, however though it's not as strong as other masking tapes, specifically because I don't wanna pull the paint off or anything like that. But even though it's not that sticky of tape, if you leave it on, for a while like i'm pretty sure i kept my tape on for a good four days or something which is something you don't want to do otherwise when you take it off it's going to leave parts of residue behind and yeah it's not a fun process of taking it off it's quite risky taking it off i've tried to take it off here but it's ended up just sp spreading like some of the gold onto it and just messing up the paint so yeah i kind of fucked it up so yeah if you're gonna mask the gun make sure you paint it right after you do not want to keep your tape on the gun otherwise as i said the residue will just stay on when you pull it off and that's not what you want or it's not what i fucking want anyway Woo! yeah sticky gun love it so after the gun was masked and it was ready for painting i decided to try and go for a gold a lot like the black ops cold war gold just try and give it a chrome gold paint job which if you don't know how that's done then pretty much if you want to make something chrome gold then the actual thing that you want to be gold has to be chrome first and then after that chrome is on there you then put a clear coat over it and then you start spraying it gold so it comes out like a nice chrome gold a lot like the gold camo in black ops cold war and yeah i couldn't really find much information when it comes to doing it on props or anything like that it was mainly just all on cars so what i decided to do was actually buy a metallic chrome spray can see the paint doesn't come out with this color or anything but either way i knew it wasn't going to come out like proper chrome or anything like that but what my plan was spray this as a metallic silver and then after everything had dried i'm going to try and buff it a little bit and you know try and get it looking chrome rather than just metallic so i could then put a clear coat over it and then spray the gold onto it so it would look more like a chrome gold rather than a metallic gold and yeah long story short um i just gave up on it because all the products out there that could actually make it chrome were either products that you would have to use via a spray gun or another product that i found called go chrome you literally just get a paintbrush you can brush it on and instantly it turns chrome it's actually insane however though the cost of it for only 100 milliliters so only one sixth of this water bottle to get 100 milliliters of this go chrome stuff was 35 pounds so i kind of just gave up on the idea so pretty much i just wasted my money on this metallic chrome for jack shit so after i come to that conclusion i then just decided to put on some metallic gold so yeah i started spreading metallic gold over the gun and i did about three or 
four layers onto the gun. And then when your gold is fully dried, you know, bring it into your house or wherever you decide to store the weapon. Wait till the next day and then come down and you can take all the tape off. And yeah, that's pretty much how I made this paint job with a lot of trial and error. But either way, after you've got... Oh, fucking hell, my hand slipped. Oh my god, I almost dropped my fucking weapon on the floor. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that is going to have to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. The growth on the channel at the moment has been absolutely insane. We're currently at 440. 40 something subscribers at the moment. I want to try and get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.